We were, um, both, uh, all three of us were recently at a couple of different masterminds. Uh, Wendy went to uh, the power, power room. room. It's out in uh, Salt Lake. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is on the West Coast most of the time. And then uh, Jonathan and I were at uh, the most recent Freedom Founders. And we thought we would highlight some of the uh, stuff that actually uh, were highlights for us. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Wendy, you, you want to kind of let everybody know what the power room is as a mastermind. Right. So uh, Eddie Wilson is probably the one that I know the most. That's one of the uh, facilitators slash leaders that, that got it up and running. Andrew Cordell is another that runs the show. He has a great podcast too called money is mm -hmm. really good stuff. He's a little into tennis shoes. Oh, he's very much <laughs> so funny. Cause Eddie walks in, you know, he's in his three piece suit. He's, you know, Mr. Businessman mm -hmm. uh, of the century and smart as a whip and as humble as American pie. That guy, mm -hmm. he's he I just love him to death. He, he's a really cool guy. And then Andrew comes in, love him to death, too. But he comes in and he is, you know, got what, 400 pairs of tennis shoes and and and, you know, he's just dressed to the nines like, you know, he just got out of a. Uh, rapping studio in LA, <laughs> you know, oh, man. and it, it's so funny that the two of them are so opposite in, and uh, the way that they look, both of them are incredibly smart. There's some other people that are involved in it as well. Aaron Chapman, who is probably the best uh, mortgage broker in the nation. It's amazing what that guy does. Uh, extremely, investors, extremely yeah. raw. In, in his uh, presentation. <laughs> I mean, this guy has a beard that's braided and comes down to here. It's he, really... <laughs> yeah, he's been a guest on our show. Yeah, probably. and he, he is uh, just amazing with what, what he does. He has a good podcast, too, um, that he's doing. But um, the room was made up of not only real estate investors, but some tech investors, uh, startup tech investors, um, stuff that we don't usually get to touch or learn about yeah, or see. Books. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, um, it opened my eyes to a lot. I'm, I'm, you know, I like what I know. I like hanging what I know. I know. I know, I know real yeah. estate and I'm really, I feel safe there. Um, and they made me personally start to think outside the box mm -hmm. with, um, the blockchain and some of the new startup app, small app, phone app companies and things like that. And the way that it works, I had to explain it to me what blockchain even was. And I still couldn't tell you. Um, I just know it has a lot to do with other things. So it's really hard for you to get hacked into because there's a multitude of computers right. that have one little piece. So nobody can go in and take one. And I think it's the future of title work. I, well, I think that's, it's the future of a lot of things. Yeah. And that's, yeah, but because of what it does. Yeah, but because of what it does. I mean, it's it's really, it's it's making a difference in the way that we will do business in the future. There's no doubt about it. But um listening to them talk made me not so fearful of the unknown for me because mm -hmm. I, I've always, always been kind of afraid of anything other than real estate um, because I know real estate. Yeah. So uh, that was really, really, really interesting. And there were people in there uh, in that room that, um, you know, I met this guy that does nothing but Facebook leads. He shows you how to market on Facebook to get leads. And he's, I mean, he's really successful in what, what he's been able to do marketing. Um, it, it was just, it was a very different uh, group of people, very professional, small group too. I mean, there were probably maybe 55, 60 people in, okay. in the whole event, which more, was, you know, nice. was nice. Yeah. yeah you can get to know yeah, everybody. Yeah. Because the, you know, the ones we're going to now are so big, it's kind of hard to get to know everybody. They started out small, but mm -hmm. they ended up growing so so much because they're so good. So it, it was really, really good. And I'm I, I'm even going to the next one, which is in Las Vegas. I hate Las Vegas. I hate that town. I hate it. <laughs> and I'm going just because I want to go to that group. So I'll have to work my way through it and go well, to the next one. When, when I was at uh, Power Room, uh, the previous meeting, mm -hmm. uh, 
a lot of the guest speakers were YouTube influencers. Mm -hmm, very much. And they were in, um, you know, in different aspects of what they were doing. One guy was a um, kind of a motivational mm -hmm. leader. Um, there was another one that, you know, and I can't remember what, what his YouTube channel was about because I was so focused on the fact that he has all these sponsors and he's selling products on there. Uh, once you get to a certain level of uh, subscribers and views on your, on your YouTube channel, all of a sudden people want you to advertise their stuff. Right. Right. And they pay you a buttload of money to do it. Um, <laughs> How much? A buttload. <laughs> So um, for me with uh, Freedom Founders, and I'm kind of dovetailing into this or segueing as it were, mm -hmm. um, what, what got to me or what stood out to me the most was um, finding ways of disrupting your industry. Hmm. And, and blockchain is one of those disruptors right. for mm -hmm. the real estate industry. Zillow was a disruptor. Mm -hmm. Now they're disrupted the right out of yeah, business. The buyer, yeah. <laughs> the real estate industry. Mm -hmm. And then, so there was a speaker. His name was Stuart. <sighs> hate getting old. Um, I can't remember Stuart's last name. However, mm -hmm. he's a, a real estate guy in, in Texas, but he has offices um, all over the country. And what they're focusing on is not necessarily the asset, meaning the house. They're focusing in on the transaction, hmm. making money on all parts of the transaction. You uh, mean as the real estate agent, as the title company, as, as all those the things, insurance and, provider, and doing it all with online, no interact, like all online, no face to face interaction. Hmm. Yes, they said. How, how they do you keep that identity straight? Well, well, the thing about it is you can use DocuSign and different types of yeah. uh, e-sign stuff. You use Zoom, the blockchain. Zoom notaries, the, you know, yeah. all that stuff. Hmm. But but they, they said, what was it? Sometime in December, they were going to be 100% everything online. Yeah, they sell, That's amazing. buy and sell thousands of houses. They never actually personally meet anybody. And never I don't go think to you any can closing. sign a deed online. I don't think that all states allow that. States they're in. They're okay. able to do it. Well, huh. yeah, I mean, you, yeah. If you, so on a, like on a Zoom notary, like, or, or just, no, I'm not plugging Zoom. It's just whatever way you yeah. look at people live. Right, right. Um, but yeah, you can, you can get it notarized. I mean, we're, we're closing a loan tomorrow and that's exactly how they're doing it. They're signing the deed of trust. Everything is done. In front of a Zoom. In front of a Zoom notary. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, again, they're focusing more on the transaction than they are on the actual asset. So there's a way to make money in this business without actually owning, buying, or selling a piece of property. Just being the person who conducts the transaction. Just being that yeah. third party that uh, coordinates the transaction. You know, mm -hmm. with it, you know, being, you know, was it men cooking dinner day or something? <laughs> you know, they're 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 handling the transaction soup to nuts, as it were. <laughs> 